Welcome. So I've been doing a series of videos on this TubeBuddy uh, tool that you can use with YouTube and I'll put a link in the description to my TubeBuddy playlist that I made where you can find those videos. I have one on uh, downloading backups. I have one on find and replace. And I'll also put a link to an affiliate link I have for TubeBuddy. And if you click on that, it uh, helps me out a little bit. In this video, I'm going to talk about the upload defaults. One of the reasons I subscribed to TubeBuddy is because I wanted the search and replace of description capability, and the other one was upload defaults. Um, I do a video a day, and I have for over a year now, and I have to go in and change these. I don't know if I have to, but I do. I go in and change these things on every single video. So I'm going to walk through setting up the upload defaults. Okay, so you probably just saw everything get smaller. I've tried to record my next part of the video a couple times, but my screen wasn't big enough. I typically record at 720p, but I had to switch over to 1080p because the interface wasn't displaying properly on 720p. So I'm in the YouTube studio and I have my video list showing. I have video selected over here. If you look down at the bottom here, there's settings. I'll click on that. And here we have the typical settings. We have the upload defaults. So if I click on that, these would be the typical defaults that would uh, YouTube would use. So I upload my video using Final Cut. And even if I have defaults in here, it overwrites them. So it doesn't work very well. So what I'm going to do is create a new uh, default and then I can choose that in the video. So I'll hit new here and I'll call this Rick Makes Template. I'll hit OK. And I don't typically have a default title, but I do have a default description. So I'll paste that in there. I'll change this hashtag. So typically I'll put hashtags at the bottom and I'll put this here as a placeholder. So if I forget to put a hashtag, this, this will be in there, but hopefully I'll see that and I'll change it to one that's related to the video. And then I have like my social media links and such. And then above that, I'll have uh, any of my video data. I'll oftentimes put playlists in. So I may add uh, something like playlist up here so it reminds me to put a playlist in if I need to, but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this. So if I scroll down a little bit, so for visibility I want it to be private by default. And I don't use any default tags. You can create multiple templates though. So I do videos on Raspberry Pi. I could create a template for Raspberry Pi that would have all the Raspberry Pi information in it. I'll scroll back up here. I'll go to advanced settings. I use the YouTube standard license. The category I typically do is how to and style, and this will apply the template, but then I can change it later if I want to. Uh, English is my language, and that's something I always do have to go in and change the language on every video, because I think it was the default in YouTube, but Final Cut was overriding it when I uploaded it. And then I don't do anything with caption certification. I leave community contributions on, and for comments, I usually choose hold, potentially inappropriate comments for review. And then monetization, I turn that all on. So YouTube has a new thing now when you monetize, it has a little like a survey that comes up. So I don't know how that's gonna work with this, but I guess I'll find out here in a minute. So I'll save that. And it says your new profile has been created, I'll hit okay. So on the left here, you see the YouTube uh, regular upload defaults and then the Rick makes template default. And I can delete it down here also, or I can click on it and I can go in and edit it, okay? So that's saved. I'll cancel out of here. I'll cancel out of here again. There we go. So I have a video I uploaded today. I'll hit details on it. And I want to upload all my defaults to this. So you see here it has a little description that was put in here by Final Cut. Uh, we'll go to more options. So Final Cut does put the category in. It doesn't have the recording date or the video language. And then monetization, if we go down here, will be turned off by default. So go into details here. I'll scroll down on the right side and you see this upload defaults. If I click on this, it will show the Rick makes template now. So I can choose that. So I can turn these on and off here, the title, description, tags, uh, visibility, advanced settings. So I'll hit apply and it's applying the template. Okay, so that has finished. So there's an unintended consequence here is I probably should have unchecked title because I don't have a default title and it erased the one I had. So next time I do this, I'll just unselect the title. So I'll just type one in here and I'll hit save. So let's, so we have the description there. We'll go to more options. We have English, that's good. It, it still doesn't put the recording date in. So I'll check that manually. I'll hit okay, I'll hit save. And now I'll go down here to monetization, see what it did there. Yeah, and that didn't apply, and I'm guessing it's because of the new thing where you have to uh, do the little survey. So I'm guessing that might be fixed in the future. So I'll hit next, and now it's gonna ask me if this is inappropriate, and I'll say none of the above. 
and I'll hit submit. So that is not working right now. I'm sure they know about it because this is rolled out recently. So I'll hit save. Now I'll hit details. So now I need to go in and do my final title. I'll add in my description and then I'll go do my tags and uh, playlist end screen. And you can do templates for those things too. So, but I mostly wanted to get this description data in and uh, get the English because I always have to go in and set it as English. So this will save me the steps and I won't forget about it. And hopefully that monetization thing will get fixed someday because when I upload, I always have to go in and choose that. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.